Hello and welcome. My name is Sarpreet, and in this video, we'll be taking a first look at X Design app in 3D Experience Platform. Now, the first question that may come to your mind is what is 3D Experience Platform? 3D Experience Platform, you can draw a parallel between your desktop computer and the platform. The way you would look at it is you have your operating system on your desktop. Let's say on my computer, have win I have Windows operating system. And on that operating system, I have a several host of apps that I can have access to. I can open up Chrome to access uh, different websites. I can open up my SolidWorks and do some CAD design modeling. I can pretty much open any kind of app I want. So 3D Experience Platform is very similar to that, except your apps are hosted on the cloud. So the way that you would go ahead is you will go to this website and enter your credentials, and you will click on Login. And then it will take me into the welcome screen where it will show me information related to the data that I have inside my computer. Now, in my case, I was previously working with XDesign app, so it's trying to open up that app right now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to close this for now. I'm going to show you how you can access such an app. You can, go, you can do so by going into the top left menu, and it's called 3D Compass. And when you click on that, it, you will have access to all the apps that you can open up. So the parallel to Windows computer would be, you will click on your start menu and it will show you all the sets of apps. Similarly, you click on 3D Compass and it will show you all the different sets of app you have access to. So I'm gonna click on X Design now and open up the app. Now, once my app is open up, I'm going to go ahead and click on open to open up a file that I was previously working with. Now it will take me through my 3D drive, which is hosting uh, different sets of files that I had added to my platform. And now I'm going to open up uh, this cast base. I'm just going to select it, click on this one, okay. And it's going to open up my app. Now the interface is very similar to the interfaces that you're familiar with in any other uh, CAD designing program. So in the left-hand side, I have we have what we call design manager, and it has hierarchical order of all the features that were applied to create the model. And I also have this roll, roll back bar here that lets me roll back and see how the model was created. So I can go all the back, all the way back, and just go through my features one by one and see how they were produced. And the features that are being used here to produce this model are the ones that you will see in any other CAD program as well. So you have the sketch features here, and then you have other uh, 3D features. Then you have surfaces. You also have assembly. Then you have design guidance. These are, these are essentially more advanced tools that let you create more organic shapes that are driven by the constraints applied. Then you have the tools, uh, evaluating tools. Then you have the uh, life cycle related tools, which lets you create different version and revisions related to the file. Uh, then you have view that lets you control how the view is being controlled. Then you also have the 3 experience marketplace. Now, let's uh, go ahead and start, try to create something, uh, add some feature to this existing model. So I'm going to go on this face, I'm going to scroll a little closer. I'm going to select this face and I'm going to start a sketch on it just like you would do it in SOLIDWORKS. Once the sketch is created, I'm going to go a little closer. I'm going to press the keyboard C key and it will activate my circle. And I'm going to create my circle here. Then I'm going to choose my um, outer edge of the circle as well as this outer edge. And I'm going to say this is concentric. Then I'm going to activate my dimension tool by pressing the button D. And I'm going to select this circle and select this edge out on the outside, and I'm going to say the distance between these two is two millimeters. Once this is applied, I'm going to click OK and exit my sketch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my extrude to it. Now to access extrude, I'm going to go under features, and I'm going to click on extrude here. Now that will let me create an extrude cut. Now the beauty of X Design is that it hosts what we call super features. Super features essentially are, uh, are features that can be converted into the other kind of features at any point. So right now, for example, if I have the button add here and I had selected, then it's performing an extrude boss. If I select cut, then it's performing an extrude cut. And at the same time, let's say I have created the model and down the road, I would like to convert it to sweep. 
I can click on this drop down menu and select sweep and I'll be able to create a sweep cut or a boss instead. So for this specific case, we're going to do an extrude cut. I'm going to select extrude and cut here Then I'm going to select my profile. Once this, oh, I'm gonna click here. It wasn't selected. Now I'm gonna select my profile and it will show me what the preview is going to look like. In our case, we're just gonna do a uh, through one way and it will do through one way and I'm going to click okay. And that will create a fold for me. Now on top of that, I can add more super features such as fillet or chamfer. Uh, you also have another kind of super feature which is called patterning. In that one, they have combined different kind of patterning into one. So the benefit again is that you have created a model, you have completed it, but down the road, you would like to change one of your features that were added uh, in the past. And you can change that kind of feature to any kind you want. Now, now that we are here, and we have created the whole, let's go ahead and complete the assembly. I'm going to save this component and add it to the rest of the assembly where it's supposed to go. Uh, so now I'm going to close this model and I'm going to open up my full assembly. I'm going to go ahead here and this is the full assembly I was working with, monitor stand assembly. I'm going to click OK and it has opened up my assembly. The first thing first, I'm going to hide this base feature here. And now we're going to bring in the component that we are working with. To bring in a component, we're going to click on open. Again, it's going to show me my results from 3D search. And I'm going to select my cost base that I was working on and I would hold it. I will drag it now and drop inside my assembly here and it will give me the option of either inserting it or opening it. Also, I can choose the number of instances to add. So as you can see, as you go through different kind of features, all of your features as well as, well as command has been very uniquely improved or enhanced to give you enhanced user experience. I'm going to click on insert now and my component is going to get added. Now what I'm going to do is I'm also going to open up this here. So the idea why I open up this feature here is uh, all the components that you have opened right now are in the lightweight mode. I just wanted to fully resolve it. Now let's go ahead and add some mates to it. So I'm going to add a mate between uh, this face and the other face. I'm going to select that one and I'm going to go under assembly and I'm going to access my mate and I'm going to select this face and it's going to give me the option of concentric one and it's going to apply it automatically. Once this is applied, now I'm going, I can go ahead and apply more features to it. I can say that this face as well as Oh, I need to open up my mate and this face are coincident. And I click OK. Uh, then it will be applied. Now I can go ahead and I can apply more more mates to it, but at this point, I think I have given you an overview of how 3D experience uh, work, or more specifically, how X Design app works in 3D experience. For more information, please go to our website on cadmicro.com or follow us on social media. Thank you very much. Have a great day.